All right, anybody got any questions? We, I guess I get the first question. I, I disagree with that. Anybody got any questions? Come on, Mitch, you got to have some. Going so everything's, everything's good. A good weekend. Uh, we got about 250 coaches here for our, our coaches clinic, all the, the – West Virginia guys, uh, last night, offense, defense, special teams, spoke with those guys last night for about five hours and had some good camaraderie. And then this morning we had uh, five or six uh, high school guys talk, you know, so it's uh, it's been a good weekend. We're headed on practice nine right now. We're relatively healthy, you know, getting a lot of work done, you know, so just over halfway. Today should be a good day. It'll be just like it was last Saturday. Uh, it, it, this is more of a practice, <clears throat> a lot of drill work. Uh, we'll finish up with another red zone period to where We'll see if we can put the ball through the uprights or get in the end zone, which we obviously did a poor job of that last Saturday. We didn't get to talk to you after last Saturday's workout. Um, as far as your assistants, they all pretty much said, yeah, defense is ahead. That's what we expect at this point, especially with what you guys have coming back. Are you are you happy with where you guys are right now? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, offensively, I know we got a lot of work to do. I mean, I, I get that. But uh, I've been a part of a lot of spring practices where offense has had their way, and that never turns out good in the fall. So. Uh, our defense should be ahead. One, one, they got 15, 16 guys that have played a lot of football, a lot of returning starters, a lot of experience, a lot of, a lot of veterans, upperclassmen. Uh, you know, and then just the nature of spring practice, defense is always usually ahead of the offense, or it should be that way. So I'm, I'm satisfied with that. With that said, you know, I, I spend the majority of my time, as y'all know, trying to get the offense uh, clicking, trying to get guys in position to be able to. Uh, make plays, you know, we're, we're continuing to evaluate. It's going to be a long process by far. You know, you, you won't see a finished product today. I mean, you won't see one by the spring game. You'll see one sometime, hopefully, by the first game. Has there been any personnel movement? Yeah, uh, the, on, the only one uh, is uh, I told you about Yadney last, last week. He's doing solid at left tackle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've moved to Keel shorts out to wide out. We need, we need to find a wide out. Uh, he, he's, he's, you know, going through some growing pains with that right now, but he's an experienced receiver that's got good size and good speed. Uh, he's, he's right now our top guy at the outside. So, uh, he moved outside and other than that, that's about it. Who fills that inside spot then? We use, you know, inside receivers are, are, you know, uh, Jordan Thompson's our number one inside receiver. Uh, and we play with, with usually just one inside receiver anyway, you know, so. You'll see Cody Clay uh, at tight end and that inside receiver. You'll see Wendell Smallwood at, at running back and inside receiver. Uh, you know, and, and, and KJ Myers is a guy that can take reps there as well. What changed there with the heel, uh, or or is it more of a positional need? Because need I, I believe. Receivers. Yeah, it, we again when you know Wendell could be our top inside receiver. I mean, he's going to do a lot of good things for us. So we we have enough bodies at inside to be able to afford to move him outside. So. And, and I, I told y'all this last week too. I mean, this is going to be a while before we have, uh, you know, established guys on the outside. But he, he, we're just adding him to the equation to see if that's an answer. And I, I think it will be. What about Sheldon Gibson? Outside is, is the other starter right now. Okay. If I was the name two, it'd be them two right now. But that that why well, I, I anticipate that to change. You made any moves on punt returner, and you said you weren't going to make many changes in your punt return schemes and that, but. Uh, yeah, have, you, have you given that any thought? Boy, that's just such a touchy side. I wish y'all would just let it die. <laughs> if y'all let it die, it'll probably take care of itself. Don't, don't make them punt. Well, <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, well that, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, we're, I anticipate making those guys punt a lot. Uh, it, it, you know, it's a work in progress. I, I know what happened last week. I mean, that was a, a learning experience for not only, you know, the punt returners, but for our punter who, who shanked about 12 in a row right there. So. Uh, you know, Nick's got to work through the mental aspect of wind, and our punt returner's got to work through the mental aspect of wind because we're obviously going to deal with it. But I keep working with those guys. You'll see us do the same thing today. Hopefully it looks better. Dan, how are you handling the Kyle Rose situation? Is he practicing? Or he's, he's been suspended all week. Uh, he, he's, he's cleaned this entire weight room. Uh, you'll see him running stairs. Uh, we're dealing with it internally. It's that, that type of behavior is not going to be tolerated under any circumstances. And, you know, with that said, Kyle's been a – a four-year guy that has done the right thing on and off the field for four years and has, has taken care of business academically and has played a lot of football. So we're, we're handling that internally, and he understands what, you know, what is expected of him as a, as a, as a senior leader. Have you adjusted on the line? Who's, who's kind of stepped up there in his, his D spot? D-line? Yeah. Yeah, Darian Howard. 
is, is, is starting to come into his own a little bit. So, you know, Kyle's played so well in spring and, and needs the practice to continue to get better. But Darian Howard and Jalil Fields has taken the second team reps. And he's another guy that needs to continue to, to practice. So we're, we're developing depth there as we speak. What do you need to see can, uh, continuously see out of the goal line and, you know, who's going to step up? Well, just 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 continuity. You know, the the O line is is different than any other position where they gotta they gotta develop continuity. They gotta trust each other. You know, they gotta the more they play next to each other, the better off they're gonna be. So developing continuity with those five guys, and and then developing depth. Stone Underwood is is, is playing good. Uh, Russell Hutton James is playing good. Is very versatile. Uh, Grant Langerfelter's coming along, so you know we need to develop some depth. But more importantly, with the starters, it's all about the continuity with those guys, and I anticipate those guys getting better every day. Working hands on with the quarterbacks, we see uh, them maybe in the classroom as much as on the field. Is there knowledge there? Yeah, you know, smart kids really. You know, Skyler's football smart. You know, w William is football smart. Uh, you know, David and, and Chugs are guys that I'm still getting to know a little bit because they've only been on campus here for, for about eight practices. Uh, those, those guys are, are smart kids and they're absorbing things. I repped uh, David Sills on Thursday a good bit and, and he, he did some good things with the run game. Uh, is still continuing to try to get better in the pass game. He needs, he needs a lot of work on that. You'll see Chugs uh, rep some third team reps today. So, you know, they, they've, they've sat and they've learned and they've, they've listened and they've, they've absorbed things. They're, they're uh, you know, still a ways uh, away from where they need to be, but they're, I'm going to start repping them here for the rest of the spring. Sills has a bit of an odd motion. Do you try to overcome kids with motion, or you just let them throw? And they got to work that out. Mm -hmm. They got to work that out. So I, I've seen enough of him. You know, the, the thing that impressed me so much the other day was is what he did with his legs. You know, he's he's a real athletic kid and he's real smart. He's he's got to get that ball out a little bit quicker. Any plans to see the new baseball stadium soon? Yeah, I talked to Randy this morning. Actually, it was a big win for him last night. So, you know, when when we get some free time, hopefully they got. It. I haven't looked at the schedule. I need to try to get over there if we're not practicing one afternoon. Here it's great. Here, here it looks good. And you know, Randy's done a great job, and it's been a long time coming. But uh, yeah, I talked to him this morning, and he's going to try to get out there this afternoon. With these quarterbacks as a group. Is this in the higher end of athleticism for kids that you had as a group? It is. It, it is. Uh, just, yeah, and I think, you know, we, we've talked about this a little bit, but we've tried to recruit more athletic guys. I'm not, I'm not going to sacrifice the passing ability, uh, but I will sacrifice probably some height, you know, and maybe some arm strength for the athleticism. That's what we've started recruiting. For you guys in the secondary, and I know it's something we've touched on, but just the security blanket you have back there at, at safety with all the guys you have coming back, have, have you seen progression with them this spring as well? Yeah, the, 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 the secondary, the, the depth is the biggest issue right now with secondary. I mean, our, our, our starters look good. We know what we got with Daryl Worley. We know what we got with Chestnut. Uh, you know, Jalen Myers is not out there today. He's been hampered by some, 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 some illness. Uh, Malik Greaves has been hurt. Um, you know, we, we, we know uh, Harper is out. Uh, Dayron Wilson is out. He's got a neck issue. So. Uh, you know, we got we got to develop depth, and it's probably going to have to come with some of the guys coming in, some of the new guys coming in. But the start of the good news is, is those starters look really good. Drayvon looks just like Carl. Carl's had his best spring. KJ's had his best spring. So it's it's frustrating for me to call plays against those guys, but it's it's fun to watch them make plays. Okay, thanks, coach.